We are in Port Credit today. We are at a penthouse condo. Uh, our clients contacted us very early on before they even broke ground here. They had a townhouse, so they had already kind of downsized, but now they were coming to a condo because they spend half the year in Florida and half the year here. So they were downsizing even further. So we helped them move in here and be comfy and cozy at home. They contacted me just as I had went on maternity leave with my daughter and they wanted to start all the decoration at that point. So I brought in Kaylee from my office to help them pick all their decor and work with them to add any finishing millwork pieces or anything like that that they wanted. So I kind of took a back seat, Kaylee came in and helped them with all that while I was enjoying my baby. This place has huge ceilings. It's really great, it has tall windows. And to really accentuate that, we really wanted to play with these big fixtures. So in the dining room, you'll find that there's this grand chandelier which pops in the space. By using such a wow chandelier, we really wanted to ground the space by using a dark marble table, which was stunning. We did some nice cream chairs all around just to soften the space a little bit and let the table and the chandelier really speak for itself. And the other thing we did in the dining room was implementing a hutch at the end of the table. It was important to create that extra storage for the client for glassware. It has a unique texture to it, but still seemingly blends into the facade of the exterior landscape. The client really wanted to play with neutrals. They did have some existing furniture that was kind of neutral, played with the beiges and the whites. And then we just wanted to bring in some blacks for that pop throughout, which tied everything together to break up those neutrals. We did do a large sectional in here. It was difficult with the space because it is a condo. So we did have to play around with custom sizing at LT, which was great, while incorporating their side chairs, which they had already pre-existing. So we tied it all together with some new pieces and some of their existing stuff. So that was a great way to implement all of the things that they needed. It was really important for the client to maximize the storage in here. So we designed this custom made millwork piece in the living room, which kind of ties in their love of bar items and gives them a little space for some accessories, which is great, while incorporating the TV and other things like that. Because we are in a condo and there are such big windows throughout, it was really important for us to incorporate that motorized blind detail as well as drapery. A lot of clients don't want to do it. They don't want to cover windows but it is important as it does add such a nice softness throughout, which is stunning. So with it being a condo, there are certain restrictions that we had to follow. There are standard sizes and heights, including the kitchen, which was really important. And because the client is a little shorter, we did have to incorporate that within the design and we worked with the condo board to bring those upper cabinets down so she could easily access everything that's inside. Our clients came from a dark kitchen countertop and surrounding cabinetry before, so they really wanted a change. They were desperate for that light, bright, airy feel, and that's exactly what we did here. We did a nice white countertop and textured white oak cabinets, which was absolutely beautiful. So really keeping those neutral tones within the space, especially with these big, beautiful open windows. There is a second floor staircase that leads up to a rooftop terrace. And there's this beautiful big piece of artwork that the client had already, which really brings you all the way up to the second floor. We took advantage of the second floor landing there. The client really wanted a entertaining space where they can put away their things and house some wine and drinks as they're out there with friends and family. Fred Hahn from Garden Connections worked alongside our clients to make the rooftop terrace exactly what they wanted. They incorporated things like an outdoor kitchen, a seating area with a fire pit, as well as a little mini putt section. The second floor terrace is truly an extension of the main floor. It keeps that neutral feel throughout while really emphasizing the 360 views of the city, which are absolutely beautiful. That was a good selling feature for them to move and to downsize to a condo because they still had that outdoor space that they could enjoy and use. In the primary bedroom, we did keep things neutral in there, but just implementing those wood tones within the bed frame and the nightstands, and then softening it again with the drapery, the rug, and just some crisp linens on top. With storage being such an issue within condo spaces, we thought we would optimize the space in there and use a bed that incorporates storage underneath with drawers, just to, again, give the clients extra space that they needed for any linens and things like that. The client opted to not do lamps. They really wanted to do sconces on either side. So we did select some beautiful polished chrome sconces. We worked with the condo board to make sure that we had electrical in the spot that we needed to make it happen. 
So the client really wanted to optimize the space in the primary ensuite. They opted to not do a tub and just do a large shower as well as a double vanity sink. We did opt for some really nice oak cabinetry with a nice thick slab countertop which is absolutely beautiful and again just giving them that big countertop space that they needed with drawers below was perfect for that extra storage. With that extra space that we gained in the primary ensuite, we decided to create this custom millwork unit that houses a drawer for his and her hamper units with dry hanging above and extra clothes storage above just to keep things really organized and neat for them in that bathroom. They do have grandchildren and we really wanted to incorporate that within the second bedroom. We did add a little pop of blue in there just to give a little bit of fun. We did twin beds in there which just gives them that flexibility for when people pop by when they are in Toronto. Because the space didn't allow for two nightstands, we did opt for a dresser in between with a beautiful oversized blue lamp in the middle, as well as blue drapery with some fun polka dots throughout. Because the clients are retired, they don't necessarily need that work from home space, but we did want to give them a landing space where they could do banking, taxes, things like that, while still incorporating that den feel where they can actually have someone sleep there, more of a functional space for when their grandkids come, they can watch TV and things like that. We did a beautiful wool and silk rug in there with a sleeper sofa on top with this beautiful custom fabric, which just softens the space even more. We did some tall drapery and then pairing it with some wallpaper in there just for that extra texture which just adds some more visual interest. With the powder room we decided to have a little bit more fun in that space. Everything is so neutral throughout that we thought we'd really amp it up in there. So we did some beautiful brush stroke, graffiti looking wallpaper, extra durable because it is vinyl. Really amps it up in there and changes the look and feel of that space. As the entryway is the first spot you see when you walk into the space, we really wanted to create that wow factor but still make it functional for the client. The console is thinner in size to keep that entrance open, but we did this beautiful gold wallpaper behind with an oversized mirror for functionality but adds that brightness. The other thing we did is an ottoman underneath the console to allow people to sit, put on their shoes as they're exiting the space. Now that we're at the finish line, I am so excited on how this turned out. I think Kaylee did such a fantastic job. The clients really got to know her and working with her. And I think that everything that they picked is beautiful. And I'm it's so happy when I walk in here because you know the light and the air, it just feels so nice. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm so glad that the clients love it as well.